Today we're going to demonstrate to you a BC-611 radio. It's a World War II walkie-talkie. It was used uh, extensively at D-Day. This particular model is, uh, was made in France in 1959 by LGT St. Cloud. It is uh, in mint condition. It has never been issued. still has the protective uh, waterproof caps on it and what you're gonna see today is unique we're gonna bring this radio back to life after uh, well more than 50 years I guess see if it still works the uh, BC 611 uh, is basically a uh, high frequency walkie-talkie it works at uh, 3885 kilohertz that's actually in the handband so that's good for us and it uh, is amplitude modulated of course the antenna is, uh, is kind of too short for uh, amplitude modulation but uh, I'm sorry for uh, HF but it still works pretty good actually we'll uh, extend it well, when you pull out the last segment you actually turn it on so we won't do that yet First, we need to uh, put some batteries in it. For that, we're opening it up here at the bottom. That is the uh, battery compartment. Now, the battery compartment has two compartments. There is a uh, compartment where the filament battery goes, one and a half volts for the uh, tube filaments. This is a tube radio. This is where the HT battery goes, high voltage battery. This particular radio. Uh, as the adapter what happens is you put two D cells in there and those are parallel so during the war you only had uh, regular batteries these uh, modern-day alkalines have twice the capacity so they didn't have that luxury in those days but uh, our battery will last quite a long time this way um, and this is the HT battery. This is pretty unique. It was professionally made. It is actually rechargeable. It is a nickel metal hydride battery. It gives off about 110 volts, between 100 and 110, depending on the uh, charge condition. This one is uh, fully charged right now, and that goes into the uh, into the HT compartment. You got to be careful with this thing. Because uh, if you touch this, you can actually get shocked. If you touch this plus terminal, so that we should not do. All right, looks like everything is in there. We're gonna close the battery compartment. A little bit difficult with one hand, but I'll pull it off. There you go. And then we're going to get to the magical moment. This radio is going to be turned on for the first time in, uh, in 50 years, I think. All right. We're going to extend the antenna. And like I said, when I pull out the last element, there is a switch in there. This will turn it on. Well, it still works. Pretty amazing. Got a lot of interference here on 80 meters. Now we have a uh, monitor receiver. Uh, I already set it at 3885 AM. Let's see if it still transmits. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That seems to be working. Now does the radio still receive? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. AGC is a little bit problematic at the high power. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. 
go. That still works too. You can see the antenna is highly tuned. If I touch it, I lose sensitivity. But there is our BC611. Still works. After 50 years. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Modulation is very good. Excellent radio. Thank you for watching this video.